Welcome to Moran Eye Center. My name is Chris Baer. And I'm Tyler Quist. We're both fourth year medical students here at the University of Utah applying into ophthalmology. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview of your rotation at Moran Eye Center and to provide you with information which will help you be a successful medical student. First, we will discuss the slit lamp and how to use this instrument to perform a general eye exam. Next, we will discuss the assignments that need to be completed during your rotation, as well as various ways to be engaged. Finally, we will provide some logistics for the rotation, which you may find helpful during your time here. First, we will give a brief overview of the slit lamp, which is an instrument consisting of a high-intensity light source that can be focused to shine a thin sheet of light onto the eye. We will first show you how to turn on the slit lamp, how to correctly align the eyepieces, and how to utilize the various knobs and dials on the slit lamp. Finally, we will show you how to position yourself, the slit lamp, and the patient comfortably. The first step is turning on the light source by pushing the large green button typically located on the right side of the instrument and turning the dial underneath the slit lamp. The next step is to properly align the eyepieces at the correct pupillary distance to ensure stereo acuity. You can also set the diopter power of the microscope to your own eye. Most of the time this dial can be set at zero. The width and height of the sheet of light can be adjusted with the following two dials. Adjusting the dimensions of the sheet of light can be helpful for examining different aspects of the eye. The slit lamp also contains various filters including full light, half light, and blue light, which is used to visualize raw areas of the cornea with the aid of fluorescein dye. The light source can be moved from side to side to use the sheet of light to produce a three-dimensional image. The microscope may be locked when you attempt to use it and can be unlocked with this dial. The instrument can be moved by manual force to help bring objects into focus. Once correctly positioned, the joystick can then be used for fine motor movements. The patient's chin is placed in the chin rest while their forehead rests gently on the bar above. Handlebars also exist if the patient requires additional stabilization. Finally, the microscope and patient can be moved up or down with these buttons to help make the exam more comfortable. Now that we have introduced the slit lamp, let's discuss the actual eye exam. Though there are numerous techniques and approaches to the exam, we want to give you a basic framework to begin with by breaking down the exam into several easy to remember steps. The first step is the examination of the eyelids and eyelashes. The next step involves evaluation of the conjunctiva and sclera. Next, the cornea is examined, followed by the anterior chamber, iris, and lens. To examine the eyelids and eyelashes, use a dim, wide, tall slit at low magnification and with your light at an angle. The conjunctiva and sclera are examined in a similar manner. To examine the cornea, use a bright, thin, tall slit with your light at an angle. The interior chamber is viewed in a similar fashion. Of note, use a one millimeter bright square beam to look for cell and flare. To examine the iris, use a dim, wide, tall slit. You can also use the technique of retroillumination, shining a small, bright, square slit aimed straight through the pupil. The lens can also be examined using this retroillumination technique and can also be examined with direct illumination, which involves shining a bright, thin, tall slit coming from an angle. Now that we have completed the basics of the eye exam, let's talk about some of the assignments that you may be asked to complete. First, for the Moran Core Research Assignment, students will select an image, video, or case and write a brief report on the subject. This assignment will be published on the Moran Core website. It is a great learning opportunity and a chance to add a publication to your CV. Each student will also be given the opportunity to present at Grand Rounds. Presentations can be on any ophthalmology-related topic and usually last for 10 minutes. Some students will present interesting cases they have seen during their rotation, and if you have done research in the past, this is also a great opportunity to present your work. To view previous student presentations at Grand Rounds, you can visit the Moran Core website. Here is the Moran Core homepage. To access previous Grand Round presentations, click the Moran Grand Rounds link. Then click the year you want to review. The videos are embedded within the page and you can now select the video you would like to watch. During your rotation, you will have many opportunities to be engaged. We wanted to take a moment to highlight a few. While none of these are required, we encourage you to try and take advantage of them if you can. 
First, you'll have the chance to attend resident lectures in the morning before clinic. These cover a variety of interesting ophthalmology-related topics. Taking buddy call with residents a couple of times throughout your rotation is a great way to get to know the residents and provides the opportunity to see cases you may not see in clinic. The Navajo Outreach Clinic provides eye care to underserved populations on the Navajo Reservation. Once a month, a team from the Moran Eye Center will go down to southern Utah for a weekend. These trips fill up fast, but we would encourage you to go if it works with your schedule. The 4th Street Clinic is a local clinic which provides eye care to the homeless and uninsured of Salt Lake City. This is another great place to learn more about ophthalmology and practice your exam skills. Finally, you will have the opportunity to use the Ophthalmic Surgical Simulator. The surgical simulator allows you to practice the microsurgical techniques of cataract surgery in a controlled environment. The software grades your performance along the way and walks you through the various aspects of cataract surgery in a stepwise fashion. It's a lot tougher than it looks, and we encourage you to set aside some time during your rotation to use this great tool. In terms of logistics, we wanted to provide a quick overview of the Moran. AM lectures, which we discussed on the previous slide, are held in the auditorium on the first floor. The OR is located on the second floor. Locker rooms are on the north end where you will also find scrubs. Clinics are on the third and fourth floors at the Moran. However, be aware that throughout the rotation, you may also be working in Moran's satellite clinics throughout the valley. Administration offices are located on the fifth floor. And finally, if you get hungry, the Judge Cafe is located on the sixth floor. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Ophthalmology is a great specialty, and we hope that you enjoy your rotation while here at the Moran Eye Center. Most importantly, we hope that you're excited for your rotation. The Moran Eye Center is an incredible institution. You're going to learn a lot during your time here. The attendings are very friendly and approachable, and the residents are all very helpful. Best of luck and have a great rotation.